Uh, Everybody Believes is a Roger Murrow song. It's a Murrow Publishing Company. And that was the commercial song. Uh, I didn't want to do traditional Nashville music. I didn't want to go in the line of uh, just, they've already got, you know, so many acts up there that's trying to make it and, and just doing anything they can to, and playing anything they can. And uh, I'm, I'm old Southern boy and I, I like to have some kind of say so, you know. I, I just don't like to do everything by the book, you know, by the rules. So, um, everybody believes it's a real good song. I like it, it about need another drink, you know. How many, how, many, how many of us need another drink here in the week? So, uh, about love, just give me another drink. <laughs> I see Jesus walk across Lake Pontchartrain, yeah, that's a pretty long title. That's what we thought we got it. Um, it is Roger, uh, Neil Cody wrote that song. And he, you know, I, I believe he has passed away in the past couple years, I believe. Um, that song, it just grabbed me. It was the first song that Roger allowed me, when you go up there, uh, first, I, I guess I can back up for a little bit. When we went up there, we were, recorded all we were doing my songs and we just wanted to check the studio out do a couple demos not really looking at doing a full ball album you know main tracking and all that so roger heard those uh, tracks that we recorded of our songs and wanted me to record some of his and, and sing some of his stuff so um poncha train when i see jesus walk across lake poncha train was the uh, first song of that, and great song, you know, it, it was, it, it's just one of those songs that just grabs you, and uh, everybody relates back to Katrina, and I don't want to, you know, relate back to any um, bad, bad thing that happened to American people, but it's a, uh, it's a song that just, it just touches your heart, that's, that's all there is to it. Wine and Roses, um, after Lake Pontchartrain, um, Roger basically gave me a, uh, let me come and pick out songs that I would, may want to do and record, uh, you know, just ideas. And I heard Wine and Roses, it was just an acoustic, uh, acoustic lyrics. And, and I just really, it just really made chills run on my back. I, I just really, it's one of those songs that uh, I know being, like I said, from the South, riding dirt roads and drinking, drinking cold beer. And that's something that uh, I, I just felt like that I had to record because I, I really, I really felt like I could turn that song into a uh, South Alabama dirt road riding song. Um, Honky Tonk History was first written, it was written by Luke Bryant, and everybody knows who he is now. Then nobody heard of him. And, uh, um, he's a great guy, man. Songwriter, phenomenal songwriter. Um, Travis Tritt recorded that song, um, never released it as a single. Um, he, uh, the name of an album was Honky Tonk History. He, he, great song, I've always loved that song, and it was kind of shocking to me how once again, Roger wanted me to recut that song. He said I had a great voice for it, and he was like, um, I can redo it. So I was really shocked, you know. But Travis Tritt's one of my heroes, too. You know, everybody loves Travis. So, um, we completely re took the song in the studio and retracked it, um, completely got all the musicians on it. And um, really liked how it came out. It really came out as a rocking, uh, kind of Skinner rock, you know, rock song. I mean, that's something that I really like.